Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed video, of course. Uh, I want to talk today, pretty much a bit of a follow-up from last week's video, where I gave like a message to Ubisoft, pretty much talking about the, you know, the standards I have, uh, the why they should be doing everything, and asking themselves that question, why, why, why? Why do anything? Well, because you want to make the best game possible. In essence, is what the message was. Make sure that every detail they... Uh, put into the game is for a specific reason and serves a specific purpose so that this can be the best game possible. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I have a certain standard of game that the next SAS screen needs to be. Now, people are saying my expectations are too high. And this is why I want to make this video. My expectations are too high. I'm going to be disappointed. This is something they might do down the line years from now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, there's a big difference between the standards I have and the expectations I have. Now, I have high standards, which is why I complained about the last five Assassin's Creed games other than the Black Flag, uh, because my standards are very high and it has not met my standards. Has it met my expectations? Some of them have met my expectations because I thought Syndicate would be average. I thought Rogue would be average. You know, I Unity I thought would be good, 3 I thought would be good, and I don't, you know, neither of them are very good. So, there's a difference between expectations and standards. They're both completely different words and mean completely different things in this instance. Now, what I want to talk about is, what are my expectations and what are my standards for Assassin's Creed Empire? Because, again, they're different. Now, I talked about last week my standards. My standards are high. I expect this to be, I want, I, again, that's ex expectations. I want this, this should be a very high quality game. They've taken time off and I want it to be the best game possible. I want it to be the standard of a Witcher 3, of a Horizon Zero Dawn. Because if it takes them three or four years to catch up to those quality games, then they're sitting and lagging behind. Which means they're not a top game. They're just not. They're years behind the curve here. And they shouldn't be. They put more money into it than most of these other game franchises get. They just don't put as much time in. And of course, Ubisoft being a publicly traded company and publicly traded entity, there's so many hands in the mixing bowl here of events that, you know, people and involvement that people have in these games. So, again, it goes through a completely different development cycle to these games, and it's tough to compare them. But, on a standards level, I want a game of as good a story as Horizon, and Witcher, and all these other amazing open world games. I expect the world to be immersive, I expect, uh, okay, I'm, again, even I get confused, I'm using expect, 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 I don't expect this, I hope this. The standard I have is for it to be at that level. The standard I have is for it to be at a very high level with a really good story, with a really good open world, with an immersive world, and side activities galore, and it to feel like Assassin's Creed, and um, all this shit. My standards are so high and ridiculous. That's my standards for a really good Assassin's Creed game. Those are my standards. And that's what I want them to do. I hope they meet my standards. Of course I want them to meet my standards. I'd be ridiculous if I was sitting here saying, nah, don't actually want them to be that great. Don't want it. I nah, don't feel like it being that great this time around. No, of course I want it to be great. I want it to meet the standards. Now, my expectations, what are they? Well, they're different. Judging from the past few Assassin's Creed titles, I don't expect it at all to come close to my standards of a really high-quality Assassin's Creed game. That's what I hope for. What do I expect? I expect uh, a bit of a glitchy game, probably. I expect there to be a decent, you know, open world, pretty immersive world. I expect the setting to be interesting. I expect the script writing to be actually very good because of David McDevitt writing it. Uh, I expect a game that is a bit behind games like Witcher and Horizon. It's not at those levels yet. Uh, when people are saying that it'll take years to get there, you're probably right. Uh, but and that's what I expect as well. It doesn't but my standards are of a highest level than my expectations, and that's the difference here. There is a big difference between expectations and standards and that's unfortunate when I'm talking about a franchise that I cover like this and my channels uh, focused on a lot it's a bit disappointing when that franchise 
I have a standard for it, but for years now hasn't met the expectations I have are not at that high standard. It's disappointing when I look to other games for that standard to be met. It's uh, it's sad, really, when you think about it. But uh, it is what it is in that sense. And I just wanted to kind of address this as well because I think people would agree, right? You're going to have different standards and you're going to have different expectations. They're just different things. And they used to be one and the same back in the day with Assassin's Creed. I thought it was ahead of the curve in open world for a time. But then it got complacent. It tried to reinvent itself in the wrong direction. It's like when you develop, games get better and better and better. And sure, they differentiate and they kind of go off to the sides a bit, but they're always going up and up and up. But there's almost a right way, but the right way broadens out. There's different right ways to go. There's different open world games with different styles that go this way or that way, but they're correct. And it's like Assassin's Creed, again, further with, you know, better technology, of course, but in terms of what they're doing with it, they're going this weird tilting direction and they've got this fucking leaning tower of Pisa going on here. And eventually, if they put too much shit on top of this direction, it's going to fall over. Some people would argue it already has fallen over. I don't think so yet because I'm fucking standing under that leaning tower of Pisa, pushing it up, holding it up. But the reality is that if Empire doesn't meet the standards, which are ridiculous standards in terms of what Assassin's Creed has been doing. Uh, it's, 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 I don't expect them to reach the standards. So I expect to be disappointed, which is really sad. Uh, I don't expect to be disappointed, that's wrong. I expect it to be actually good. Like, that's what I expect. Surely it'll be good. But my standards, I expect it to not meet my standards, is what I should say. I expect it to fail in terms of meeting, if the goal is to meet my standards, selfishly. And if it doesn't meet my standards, uh, I don't know if I'll play Assassin's Creed anymore. It really depends. It really depends on what happens in the storyline more than anything, probably. If my storyline expectations... Oh, sorry. If my storyline standards are met, that's good enough to kind of keep me hanging on. But if in no level my standards are met, like the open world is good but not great. The story's good but not great. If it's just, like, good average game, I just I just don't know if I have time to deal with this stuff anymore, you know. Um, I, I'm i a busy guy. i got a lot of other games I'd rather be doing videos on. And I'm more than happy to go do that. And do podcasts talking about lots of different things. As I'm doing. I have fucking three podcasts, you know. And I'm more than happy to do other stuff. I want to keep doing Assassin's Creed, but... It has to be fucking amazing, this next one. Because I don't have patience anymore. I don't have tolerance anymore. It has to be great. It doesn't mean I'm not going to keep playing Assassin's Creed. It just means I'm not going to sit and spend my life talking about it. Uh, so it has to be fucking top-notch amazing. Or else... I'm not really going to be focusing on Assassin's Creed all that much. Probably still play it. Probably? I mean, if it's really bad, I won't. I don't know. But these standards have to be met. That's the truth. My standards are really high. You're right. Really high. Too high, probably. I don't care. That's what they are. That's what they should be for all games, to me. I have that standard. Plenty of other games meet it. Why can't Assassin's Creed? Why can't Assassin's Creed? It can. It's up to them to do it. Should they delay it even further? If it means it's a better game, fucking do it. I don't care. And it sounds like it might even be delayed. There's news if any of you paid attention to the quarterly um, earnings call with Ubisoft, they didn't even mention Assassin's Creed uh, for their plans for the next few months. So it doesn't sound like in, uh, that it'll come out uh, this year. Maybe it's still a chance at the end of the year, but probably at the start of 2018 maybe. So maybe Ubisoft are doing the right thing. Who knows? Anyway, the standards are there. My expectations are here. But this has to be met. This has to be met. Or I'm not going to waste my fucking time anymore. It's just the truth. Anyway, that's me rambling on again about this sort of stuff. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Uh, what are your expectations versus your standards? Have they been meeting them? Uh, and how do you feel right now about the state of Assassin's Creed uh, in the future? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure, of course, to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. So you get awesome videos and podcasts of me uh, this egotistical maniac talking about video games and stuff uh anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon for the next video